Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bina Karaka Bina for those of you that are new here. If you are joining us, subscribe by clicking to watch my new video. Thank you very much for stopping by today and for hanging out with me. Thank you guys so much. So today I'm coming to you guys in all of my glory, like all of my, <laughs> all of my 17 inch glory. Even though it's, I think it's like 15 inches now, because you guys saw my other video where I uploaded and I did a, I had a trim, so I just like trim my edge, my tips of my hair, but it's still pretty good. So, I wanted to tell you guys how I grew my 16 inch, is it 16 now? Like 17, but let's say 16 now because I just trimmed one inch probably. So, or 15, whatever. I wanted to show you, tell you guys how I grew my hair, my 17 inches hair. I'm going to stick with 17 inches. I, because I measured it before and it was 17 inches. So, since I trimmed it, I haven't measured it again, but it always... How I grew my 15 inches, 16 inches, 17 inches, however inch it is right now. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I grew all of this. All of this. <laughs> if it's something you're interested in, please definitely keep watching. First thing I would like to say is that I don't relax my hair that often. I relax my hair twice in a year. As you can see clearly, this is not a natural 4C or 3C type of hair. It's a relaxed Nigerian hair, but I don't relax my hair very often i do it twice a year so i like my hair every six months so you, like uh, yeah i don't so because my hair doesn't get to be relaxed so often it doesn't cut as much my hair doesn't cut as much so that's one of the things i think that helps to grow this long so if you can endure endure six months so it's, it's hard though let me know I mean, it's not really easy i promise you because when the undergrowth start coming and you start combing to make a new style you want to do cornrows you want to braid it's tough it's hard to be combing it's it's hard especially people like me that don't cannot keep the natural hair thing in that's all i do this is miss my own i call it semi-natural <laughs> my hair is semi-natural because i relax it twice a year every six months it's not that bad i'm I'm thinking and I'm hoping that I will graduate once a year. I will relax my hair once a year. I don't know when I will have that kind of leave yet, but till then we are still relaxing every six months. I've been doing every six months for since 2016, yeah. So like for about five years now, I've been relaxing my hair just twice in a year, so six six months. And I think that's one of the reasons why. That's how. One of the reasons for this. So don't if you don't relax your hair that often. You will see the magic. Just just let your natural hair breathe. Let it just be there for at least six months, and you see the difference. You come back and tell me thank you. I promise you. <laughs> Next thing that I do is I don't flat iron my hair. No, I do not. I don't iron my hair. I don't flat on it. I don't. You know when you like putting your hair under so much heat, putting your hair under so much heat breaks it. It's very natural that your hair will break. You're you're exerting so much heat into the hair. It will break. I do not flat iron my hair. I blow dry it every now and again. Just blow dry when I wash it because I don't carry it for so long. So I don't carry my natural hair like this for so long. So I will not need to blow dry it again. So like once in a month, I will wash and then blow dry. That's that over enter dryer. You know that hair dryer thing that heats for hours. And no, I do not. Do, I don't. I don't subject my hair to that can that much heat. No, I do not. So I guess it grows because. I do not mess it into any kind of serious or severe heat and flat ironing especially i do not i do not flat iron mm? okay next thing that i think and next way i think that you can grow your own 17 inch air holy see you know is wild i make only protective hairstyles that's the, I, I do not pick my, you hardly see me make small tiny tiny braids that will cut my hair i don't do anything that will endanger this hair because i think for the most part i don't do a lot to protect it so i just don't do anything that will break up bring about an adverse effect so no i make only protective hairstyles by making braids has to be big braids box braids braids that are not so tiny as to cut my hair and for the most part i fix i do cornrows and then where it puts um weave on it sew the weave on it that's what i do i do that more than braiding so because if my hair is always protected and it's always covered it grows that's that's my way of protecting the hair protective hairstyles you know if i must braid it it has to be big braids or at least medium sized braid not those tiny tiny ones first of all i can't even sit for those hair i don't have that kind of patience first of all but secondly also to protect the hair that i already have or that's already growing so well on its own without me having to do much yeah that's it 
the fourth thing that i do with my hair is i don't put any chemicals i don't put any additional chemicals see my hair is dirty i go to the salon i wash with a shampoo i put on hair conditioner and that's it we do not apply no placenta no whatever you cannot tell me anything else. don't say madam this thing is good for your hair you put no i don't put anything else on my hair so i wash with a shampoo put conditioner to make it softer when they are combing it and then we put hair cream baby when we are doing the hair we put hair cream apart from that one you cannot tell me that this spray makes hair to grow this one does this that that that, that. i would not i don't use any other thing shampoo conditioner hair cream normal normal thing that everybody uses on their hair that's it i don't do anything extra to this hair. and i know you people will not believe me so people probably think i pop pills <laughs> people think i'm taking pills to grow my hair but god forbid no i haven't i i mean if you are taking pills i mean i don't judge you but i have not taken pills i've not done anything else to this hair nothing I've, i don't use i don't see nothing see i struggle with dandruff so i use anti-dandruff shampoo i would have called the brand is a very popular brand but i can't call it because i'm not watching this video obviously and um it's quite it's quite expensive it's not cheap that shampoo is not cheap mm? so that's what i use on my hair shampoo conditioner sometimes i don't even use conditioner let me be honest with you sometimes i just wash with shampoo and boom we are blow drying and then we put hair cream and we move that's it sometimes so I don't, I would advise, I don't know, I would advise you not to put all those, uh, those extra things on your hair. I don't think they help the hair to grow. Chemicals, too much chemicals on your hair just cut it. That's how I believe. So, you know, but I just allow your natural hair to grow on its own. Or is it because my, my hair grows on its own, that's why I don't use these things. Because if you need a, a little extra help and you see that you've found a product that works, just stick to it. Don't go trying every product in the market. Because these things are chemical and they're not good for even your scalp. They're not even good for your health normally. So... I would not advise anybody to use any extra chemicals like that. Use your shampoo, use your conditioner, use hair cream. That's okay. For me, oh, that's, I mean, you must not take my advice. So it's not my own solicitor advice. I'm not shoving it down your throat, but I think it's just me giving my two cents. It's just me giving my two cents. Number five thing that I think helps me protect my hair from breaking and allowing it to grow is the fact that I tie my I tie my hair with a scarf when I sleep. So even you know, when I sleep, as soon as I get home, I put my hair like put it up and then I tie it in a scarf. So I sleep with a scarf. So my edges are always tied. I so that's why see my see look I'm sweating but can you see my edges are in full mood. <laughs> my edges are good. I, I sleep with a scarf on so I don't I don't sleep with um hair nets i don't sleep my hair i don't leave my hair like that i don't just sleep just like that i have to always tie a scarf i have plenty of scarves because of that <laughs> i'm a scarf person so if you want to gift me something a scarf would be a good thing to gift me because i tie my hair every night to sleep and that way it protects the edges yeah if kids don't know that tying your hair to sleep protects your edges it stops your edges from it stops your edges from breaking so if you're having edges problem <laughs> the tying your head to sleep tying this front tying your head to sleep it helps to protect your hair i think that's that's about all i do yeah that's about all the rest i'm a it's just jeans i guess <laughs> just jeans oh, and the grace of god honey so yeah that's how i grew my 17 inch is a uh, and i think that you can too if you're interested if you're growing a long hair like mine is something because I know you admire my people used to like my my hair is such a conversation starter. Everybody go, is that your real hair? Is that your real is my real hair? It's my hair. I promise you it's my hair. So if it's something if it's something you like, you admire and you would want to have, I guess the steps can help you grow your own too. Until then, I'm done. I'm sweating. I'm tired. And I want to end this video. So I'll see you in my next one. Please remain in God. God bless you. Bye.